Okay. So we got the boat back outside, finally. The deck hull joint is for the most part repaired. And we're gonna go ahead and seal up these two access port panels, access ports, so that they will be reasonably watertight. We cut these last year to, to get our first look in the boat and never really bothered closing them up since we haven't been sailing yet. So we're gonna go ahead and drill some holes and mount the inspection ports. About how much rain we'll get in the boat? Not much. It is, it is raining a little bit out here, so we're gonna try and be a little bit quick. All right, so it's been a while since we did this. I'm hoping that this fits. It does fit, excellent. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is figure out where we can actually get all these holes in because we didn't drill this thing very well. We're gonna mark where these holes need to be. And that did not show up. And that did not show up at all. Should I get a Sharpie? That was a Sharpie. So, some of these are gonna be easier to drill than others. I'm gonna start with this one, because it's convenient. And then after I get one in, I'm actually gonna match drill the rest, just because, well, to be honest, partly because my, the pen that I brought out here isn't marking very well, so. So once we get one in, line up some of the other ones. Please don't wipe my boat. You're the one that put a hole in your boat. That was the first episode. Yep. Let's not talk about that. All right, so we're going to use butyl tape. Butyl tape is great for this because it's easy, easy, easy to remove. And so since we know that at some point we're going to want to take this off again, this is a great use for this. Um, it's really what? easy to clean up. It is also really, really cheap, which is very nice. What did you buy this for? A different project? Nope, I got this for your boat yesterday. So we're just gonna just stick it on here. That looks like the exact same tape I use in my crates. It looks a lot like Play-Doh, almost. It's a little stiffer. Okay but it stays pliable over time, so it's nice in that it doesn't, uh, you don't have to worry about it stiffening up. If you're putting these ports in, you can just use um, something like 3M uh, 40, uh, I forget, the 4000 series, I forget exactly what it's called. Um, it would work well for this. I would not recommend using the 5000 series 3M adhesive because that's a permanent adhesive, and once you do that, it's never, ever gonna come off. <clears throat> and something like a, an inspection port or something like that, you're eventually gonna wanna take it off. About how many people could you fit on this boat with? This boat would easily fit two people. But without it being easy, just people I've seen people sail fit. sunfish and boats like this with three people on them, basically two kids and an adult, but... What about just three kids? You could probably do that. Well, what if you just put someone on the Oh, well, that was a mistake. Ah, it didn't work. <laughs> I was trying to use the drill bit to clean this hole up a little bit, and it just wound up all that tape, so let's do this instead. All right, the other thing I'm going to do, I cleaned up, I cleaned up these holes so we can get screws in without getting butyl all over the threads. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a little bit of butyl tape around the tops of these screws, and that will give a little bit of extra sealing around the heads, because that's the only other place that water can come in here. This doesn't have to be perfectly watertight. This isn't a boat that's gonna stay out on a mooring or anything like that, and this doesn't, ideally doesn't go underwater frequently at least. So there's not a lot of chance for water to get in through this, but we do want to cut down on the likelihood of it. So there's just a little bit of tape around each of these screws. Then we can push each screw in. All right, my camera decided to stop in there somewhere. I'm not sure where. Um, 
I went ahead and finished getting, getting this inspection port installed, got dots at the back side of the screws, tightened everything down, and then just went around and, and peeled off what squeeze out there was from the butyl tape. I may go back in when it's, true, when it's dry outside to, with some alcohol or some spirits just to clean this up. There's a little bit of, of residue left and just a quick damp rag with some, with some solvent on that. I'll take that off and make this look really, really nice. I'll probably tighten the screws down one more time once everything's had a chance to just settle in and when it's a little drier. So right now, this is good to go and the front of the boat is, should be reasonably dry. It's a much nicer day today. Finn and I are out. We're gonna take care of this aft inspection port. We're gonna drill the holes and go ahead and seat it. You ready, buddy? Yes. Okay. Time to plug it in. All right, first thing we're gonna do is test fit this just to make sure that, uh, oh. I'd forgotten about that. The hole that we have here is not quite large enough, so we're gonna have to expand this a little bit. We cut this one a little bit small intentionally, so we're going to have to get a tool to cut into this a little bit more. So, brief pause while we do that. Yep, bye. Brief pause. <laughs> All right, you wanna try now? Yep. Let me... There you go. Yep. We go all the way in? No. Yep. Yes. Yeah, a little bit of work it gets there. Okay, so how do we want this oriented? We wanna, there's some foam in there we need to try and avoid, so we're gonna do it kind of like that. Guys, if you don't know, we're in our backyard with lots of bugs. Lots of bugs. All right, do you want to try and drill these holes? With some help? <laughs> yes. All right, we'll do it together, okay? Lots of bugs. All right, got to get it lined up before you hit the button. I want you to. You want yeah. me to hit the button? No, I am. All right, hit the button. Perfect. Nice and gentle. All right, I'll line it up. You hit the button. Perfect. Gentle over there. <laughs> We're just gonna put two of these in to help line it all up. All right, so now we can um, do that it. One's not in all the way. That's okay, it's just lining it up. So now we can do the other four. You ready? I wanna do it. You, do one, you wanna do one by yourself? All right, next. Okay, I wanna do this one by myself. I thought you should be me to be careful of that phone. Okay, help. You got it. All right, last one. Okay, finger, finger check. How many fingers do you have? I see 10. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh -oh. No, you don't. Oh, okay, I still have all 10. Good. Whew, we're safe. I'm unplugging it. All right, unplug it. Yeah. Excellent. Let's make sure. Okay, yeah. All right, now we do have a bit of a problem on this particular one. Some of the foam is right underneath one of those holes. Oh, me, I, me, I. Oh, no, yeah. I'm gonna do this one. Can't that foam play a single? No, this, this foam can't. Okay. If it's not drilling, you're not interested. If it's not drilling, you're not interested? Good help is so hard to come by these days. The next thing we need to do is get the butyl tape on this ring. Now, the last time I did this, I was a little haphazard with this and got butyl tape over all the screws, which ended up being a real pain in the neck to install. So I'm gonna try and be a little bit more careful with this and put the screws in first. And that way I can put the butyl tape around them and hopefully I won't get quite as much butyl tape on the threads as I did last time. All right, and now that all the screws are in, 
I can put a, a few loops of butyl on the underside of this without getting quite so much on the threads of the screws. So that's a very generous helping of butyl around all that, and I expect all of that to kind of smush around as I put it in and fill up any gaps. So now I just have to try and line all this up again. Okay, now that all that's on, each of these just gets a washer and a nut. Hopefully, I don't drop all of these down at the bottom of the boat. Ah, it was gonna happen. That was inevitable. I really don't want to leave that in there though because it's going like, to rattle like crazy. Come on, how'd you get? That's gone. You know, it's always that one thing you said, I need to not do this, and then you do it. Oh, that's... It's maybe cheating, but I'm going to stick these two together with just a smidge of butyl myself one fewer thing to drop in there. <sighs> Alright, so those are all tight. Just do a little bit of cleanup here by Removing the extra butyl. Let's go this out. So I'll go back through and clean that up again a little bit more with some teenage, uh, some alcohol or something. But that is our second inspection port. Nice and tight. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, leave a like, a comment, or subscribe to the channel. Thanks.